the written uh, the first part of the the manual there's some talk about uh, projections and group dynamics which perhaps goes you know fairly deep but i think it's all understandable and useful useful material you've started to talk about how it's laid out but can you talk a little bit more about um what one will see in the manual how is it organized or or laid out or presented two parts the first part's called elements of group work and in elements of group work um, i write about um, leading a group from the perspective of sacred attention therapy mm -hmm. Um, some remarks about uh, physical space for a therapy group, um, the different possibilities in leadership from a leaderless group all the way through to having group leader and all many options in between, uh, challenges for the group leader and how to begin the group. We talk about the group circle, the sharing circle, about how to deepen the group process um, which is always an issue whether you it's something you do for a living or it's something you do with friends because it's very easy for things to um, just atrophy into chat and you know, superficiality and so on mm. um, I then go into some of what the group leader has to face um, in terms of the challenges and the opportunities um, for him or her um we talk about time boundaries and what to bring some practical things talk about time which is surely a big issue mm. um in terms of i know it was for me and most of us who've run groups you know can we possibly bring it in on time at the end well not at all when we start we don't it's so hard so hard to do so that was fun to revisit and um, then some broad guidelines for what a psycho-spiritual group practice uh, achieves or how it looks. Now, that's the first part. Mm -hmm. Second part is simply called exercises. And in the exercises, there is uh, seven main headings. The first is experiential physical um, exercises. Mm -hmm. Then it moves into interactive group exercises. Then work in pairs. Mm -hmm. Then uh, drawing and painting. Um, then the spiritual and the meditative exercises. Notebook, keeping a notebook, keeping a record, uh, drawings and insights that you've had in the group itself. Mm -hmm. And finally, um, one of my favorites, homework. <laughs> <laughs> and homework of course is how you take whatever you get from the group and you bring it into your life and you work on it until perhaps the, the next group or in any case to further the insights or the breakthroughs you may have experienced during the group okay. and how can one use the manual what a lot of what you've shared uh, perhaps uh, provides insight into that but how can you envision someone using the manual well it's clear there's many options i mean there's there is over 150 exercises in this manual now in any given group in some cases you don't need more than two the, the, the exercises are complex enough and the issue comes up do you theme a group or do you extemporize and just see what how it's going to go and maybe use a mixture or for example you may want to spend a couple of hours in group process in spiritual work meditation of course um, or in interactive and more emotive work where through interaction people uh, concentrate on their feelings and uh, focus on how whatever arises in the group reflects life outside of the group this kind of thing so there's so many different options for group work and hopefully um i've indicated that and, and provided exercises for a great variety of possibilities hmm. so the sacred attention therapy group work manual that will come out uh by the end of july uh people can pre-order it yes through the center uh, for Human Awakening website, uh, going to the web shop page and then the books. There it's at the top and it can be pre-ordered 
Um, and when we have it ready, we'll ship it to the person by PDF file. I think we're hoping, we're hoping for July the 15th for the release date. Yeah. And we're on, um, we're on target. And I, I do know we can, you can pre-order it now so that you get it perhaps on that day. Even. Very good. Thank you very much, Richard. Thank you, Robert. Bye-bye. Bye now.